movie Crazy Rich Asians is a quintessential romantic comedy. It's filled with love, laughs, and multi-million dollar parties. But how did they bring this world to life? We sent our movie critic, Paul McGuire Grimes, to the coast to find out. Hello everyone, I am in Los Angeles right now for Crazy Rich Asians. It's based on the book by Kevin Kwan, and if you read the book, I guarantee you will like this movie. Nick, we can't afford this. So your family is rich? We're comfortable. That is exactly what a super rich person would say. My book club read the book a couple of months ago. We loved it, and I really loved the movie too. I love the costumes, the production sign. It's so elegant and glamorous. Did you guys, were you able to take anything, steal any dress? Or any Hell of your suits? No. <laughs> Bodyguard from the mirror. Really? I think earrings are yeah. worth more than the flat I live in in London. It, it was so expensive there, like the studio has to keep it as an asset or something yeah. because it's like a. Yeah. But, but Nelson Coates and his team uh, did a phenomenal job in mm. creating the world that we, we were so lucky to, to be able to act in. It yeah. was, um, you know, that really lent itself to. To authenticity. Like, and then the Mary did the costumes. Yeah, mm. and the wedding scene. So that wedding's meant to be a what, like a fifty million dollar wedding, whatever. That's more than the budget of the whole movie. So <laughs> Nelson did an incredible job of making it look like that. I mean, the Nick you're dating is Nick Young. Yeah, you guys know them or something? Hell's yeah. They're just the biggest developers in all of Singapore. That's what I'm Damn, Rachel. It's like the Asian Bachelor. Who are both of your comedic inspirations? Um, like I, I tell you, I, I, I have the usual suspects that I, I've loved over the years. Like I like Steve Carell, Zach Galifianakis, like so many, you know. Yeah. But uh, I feel like today, you know, giving a shout out to Jim Rash of Community, played the dean. He's one of the greatest comedic actors like living. He's that good. So just want to give a shout out to Jim Rash. <laughs> shout out Jim Rash. <laughs> um, I, I discovered Margaret Cho when I was seven years old, and, and I don't think I would be doing what I would be doing right now if it weren't for her. Do you guys have any favorite rom-coms that you kind of thought of when oh, you were making sure. this? I mean, this is not one I thought of, but my favorite rom-com in the world is While You Were Sleeping. Oh. And then there's a newer one recently that I don't think a lot of people saw that I think is so good. It's called About Time. With yeah. Rachel McAdams. Yes. Oh, it's just yeah. darling. I love that. I love the proposal. Which oh. Pete, I was going to say that. Wrote. I haven't yeah. seen that one. It's so good. You have to watch would, it. Would yeah, Knocked yeah. Up be a rom-com? Like, yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> I, like, Made in Manhattan. I think when, Har when Harry Met Sally was great. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, Say Anything oh, is my, my oh, one of my favorites. Yeah. Oh, <gasps> I gave right? her my it's heart. Spot she on. Oh, spot on. <laughs> I, know. I, I want to eat a green street with her. Oh, my God. Well, thank you so much, you guys. Thank it was you. lovely. Lovely thank movie. You. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Paul is back from his fancy life interviewing movie uh, stars. Good to have you, Paul. Thanks. All right, what did you think you. about this movie? If people love the book, they will love this movie. It is so much fun. It's a great rom-com that, yes, it's funny and it's hard and you love a couple, but it's, there's a lot of depth to it, and it's such a good learning lesson about Asian history and culture and tradition. Uh, more laughs or more love in this? I would say equally both because you fall in love with the main couple, played by Constance Wu and Henry Golding. They have such great chemistry together that you want them to work as a couple, but then anytime Aquafina or Ken Jong are on screen, you are laughing hysterically. So it really balances the heart and the humor. And it got me really thinking about my family and the traditions that I had with my grandma because the movie is really about family traditions as she has to really try to impress his family who doesn't really want to like her. I love so, it that there's more depth to it, too, than just your typical Yes, you don't get that in a typical rom-com, yeah. the depth and the stakes are really high in this movie. I was going to say, you know, I think maybe the, the common criticism of romantic comedies mm -hmm. is that you know what's coming from yes. the opening oh, credits. Yes. Right. Uh, does this movie do anything different that makes it feel fresh? I think so, because you don't quite know how the family's going to react to her or how she's going to put herself first or him as well. And I think, and it's a gorgeous movie. The costume design is stunning. To even just see Singapore and to learn about, like, what it's like in Singapore and the wealth. Like, if you love The Devil Wears Prada, and, like, luxury like that, you will get a kick out of this movie. Ticket stubs. I'm giving four out of five. I really want people to go see and, and show that these types of stories matter. It's the first mo major studio movie with an all-Asian cast in 25 years, That's which I think crazy. is so great. I yeah, I'm crazy. That it's that long. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm glad that you're back from hanging out with the movie stars and just hanging out with good old us. <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's great here. to be back Thank with you guys. Thank you. There, Thank you. Love that. you can visit Paul's website. It is Paul's Trip to the Movies.com for more movie reviews there. You can also listen to Paul on the Colleen and Bradley show on My Talk 1071 every Friday. Or check out his podcast, also called Paul's Trip to the Movies. It's all called Paul's Trip to the Movies. We'll say it again Paul's Trip to the Movies. <laughs> Health expert.